thought I'd make a video showing off uh, a couple things. This is a new truck. Well, it's a 2003, but it's only got 40,000 miles on on it. I bought it uh, online off a dealer in Portland, Oregon. And my Uncle Al went and checked it out for me. So, hi Al. Thanks for checking it out. Seems to be in great shape. Uh, I've only had it a day or two. Still got to go get it registered. So there's that. We're out at the bean field where the tractor broke down yesterday. Today's Monday. There's the uh, old truck that's replacing. That truck is a Ford F-250, 1995. The transmission's starting to get a little bulky, and I've had no luck. Oh, there's a deer. Look, you see the deer running across the field there? Nothing runs like a deer. Oh, there's two. There's three. There they go. So, wait for the neighbor. So this truck, uh, the steering column on it, apparently notorious for having a keyway that wallers out and the steering column will no longer let you put it in to drive. So it's on borrowed time. I mean, there's no rust on it. I bought this from the Port of Seattle online too, eight years ago, but I didn't pay much for it. Put a new motor in it, new tires. So what I'll do, I'll transfer the toolbox and the, the diesel transfer tank from this truck to the new truck. But the reason I'm here this morning isn't to come out and give you a tour of uh, trucks, new and used. It's to show this tire. So obviously here's the equipment crossing where you get into this field. And I've got about 30 acres still to plant of soybeans. Of uh, this 95 acres. I made a couple calls this morning and... Um, guy I've got a good uh, working relationship and friendship with managed to hook me up with one of the service centers that will uh, come out and get me taken care of maybe today or tomorrow as opposed to the normal week wait this time of year to get a truck out and put two new tires on. But he told me, well, drive it to the edge of the field because it was over you know, kind of the distance, maybe a quarter mile over. I was like, really? It won't bugger up the tires? I said, no, you're going to trash the tires anyway. I had to stop it over here because it was starting the tire was starting to get bound up in the wheel well and I didn't want to cause any more damage. So it looks actually looks worse than what it I'm hoping looks worse than what it actually is, but at this point this is where the split happened. There's a couple checks on it and then uh, it failed from there. So if they want to dry to take the step, unbolt the step bottom two steps so I wouldn't drag them in the ground uh, but that's so it's up against the frame there hopefully that's not going to be too damaged but then they can get it off but we'll see we'll see what uh, oh, the wind we'll see what happens hopefully they can get it taken care of today or tomorrow and get back and finish up the planting in the meantime, I'm off to check. There's another 100 acres about six miles further south of here. It's got um, corn I gotta go tying weed on, then I'm gonna go register the vehicle. So, all for now, there's another neighbor guy mowing the ditches. <laughs> 